<laughs> so far, March has been pretty active when it comes to sharks over in Volusia County, the so-called shark bite capital of the world. Yeah, just this week we saw a huge shark that was so close to shore that was in Ponce Inlet. And then we heard reports of two shark bites already this month. West Coast Claire Met spoke to one of the victims who, despite that close encounter, cannot wait to get back into the water. March 9th, a New Jersey man fishing in waist deep water was bit on the left knee and calf, a shark literally slamming into him. This past Sunday, a 20 year old surfer from Altamont Springs found himself on the wrong end of one of those toothy creatures. I felt like a kind of like a grabbing but um, on my foot. Eric String is a student at Florida Atlantic University, but he was in town last weekend and headed for the inlet in New Smyrna Beach, home of the best waves in the southeast, also home to lots of predators like sharks. I think it realized like right when it bit me that I was a human and it was just thought I was a fish and I was kind of in its area. So I don't think it was its fault at all. Eric was riding his brand new board in about seven, eight feet of water. When he jumped off to dip his head in the ocean, a shark chomped down on his right foot. It was on the top and the bottom of my foot and like pretty far um, in the middle. Eric paddled quickly to shore where first bystanders, then rescuers helped him wrapping the foot. He was later treated at an urgent care. They cleaned the lacerations and he didn't need stitches. Though Eric didn't see the shark, we all know they're there. This week, viewers shared video of a large shark near the shore in Ponce Inlet. The inlet, boasting a smorgasbord of bait fish, attract the bigger fish, including shark. Eric is out of the water for two weeks while the injury heals, but the chance meeting with the animal won't stop him from what he loves. Even if it was uh, once every few years, I think I would still surf. Oh. That was the risk. <laughs> Last year, 16 people were bitten by sharks, typically the most active months between July and October. It seems like we're getting an early start. In Volusia County, Claire Metz, West 2 News.